Hey everyone, we're here at the Magic Mile getting ready for Xfinity Series practice and I'm joined right now by the driver of the number five Chevrolet Camaro, Anthony Alfredo, back near home for you. How exciting is it every time you get to come back near your neck of the woods? Oh, it's always a blast. Obviously, a lot of friends and family come out. I grew up only about two hours from here in New Hampshire. Just have a, a local sponsor, Steel Group, on the car. Them and Anchor Advisors based out of Boston, so it's not too far for them either. This is actually uh, one of my favorite tracks, believe it or not. It's, it's really tough to pass at, but when you have a fast car, um, you, can, you can make things happen. So. Uh, hopefully the magic mile is good for us this weekend. Being so close to home, how much would a win or even just a good run be at, at this very track? One of your favorites. Oh, if I could pick a place to win, this would definitely be up there on the list, just knowing all the people that are going to be here supporting me. And, you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can uh, get the job done, but at the very least we want to have a good performance and, um, you know, get, get some points, as I mentioned before, so we could stay in the hunt for that final playoff spot. Best of luck out there the next couple of days. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. And with that, I believe Luke Marcheski is joined by Parker Kligerman. Thanks, Matt. Well, from one Connecticut driver to another, Parker Kligerman back home in New England. Welcome back to New Hampshire. Any expectations for the 48 car tomorrow? Uh, major expectations and, and opportunity, I think. You know, this place, we were pretty fast last year, so our spike light core Chevys um, have been good at these types of tracks. I love coming here, obviously. It's home. The Northeast, there's nothing like summers in the Northeast. I know today's probably not the best endorsement of the weather, but I'm looking forward to it. I think we have a huge opportunity here at the Magic Mile, and hopefully we can find just that little magic and be up front and go win it. What's it like that second half of the year where you need to balance on Saturday's racing and then on Sunday's being a pit reporter? You know, it's funny is I actually find the pit reporting easier, and I should probably knock on wood. I'm really looking forward to the time where I win here on Saturday and then have to do that on Sunday, and that will be a very fun time. Well, hopefully that's this weekend. Parker, good luck. Thanks for talking. Appreciate it, guys. Have a great weekend. Thanks to all the fans for coming out. Thank you, New Hampshire. Love being here. That's Parker Kligerman looking for a win at home. I am now joined by Matt Holderman, back from his interview with Anthony Alfredo. Now, Matt, we've gotten a chance to hear from a bunch of racers both today and over the past few weeks, but let's hear from you. What are you most excited for this weekend? Oh, gosh, well, first of all, I'm excited to actually see some cars on track. We hardly got any of that today. It seemed like the rain finally started right when practice uh, started for Xfinity Series. Obviously, they did one lap and then they just waved off everything for the rest of the day when the rain started. But I think it could be a really interesting weekend if they are racing in the rain on some wet tires. I don't think they could actually go when the rain is coming down, but if the track is just damp, we might see, I think for the first time ever at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, cars racing on wet weather tires could be interesting. The surface could be very, very slick out there. It could make for some uh, chaos to say the least. We'll have to wait and see how it all unfolds. Man, I'm looking forward to that. Now, Lauren, not sure about this, but do you have any racing experience? Oh, Taylor Viles, funny. Let me ask you a question that, that interests me. <laughs> Aside, <laughs> okay, that was a delay apparently because he finally laughed. Um, you know, aside from the <laughs> racers, um, that you just talked to us about. Any other celebrities there? You know, people that I would care about. I haven't seen anyone yet. Do you know of anyone, Matt? Haven't seen anyone yet, but of course, uh, Matthew Judon from the Patriots. I think he'll be driving the pace car on Sunday. Ooh. So that's one to look out for, especially for all you Pats fans out there. Uh, we'll try to catch up with him on Sunday, too, if we can. Yeah, and anyone else we see, Lauren, we will make sure to let you know because we know you, uh, you love any celebrity that, <laughs> yeah. that comes into the equation here at NASCAR Weekend. So uh, that'll do it for us. Uh, back to you guys.